last year I was running the same car, 2019 Tesla Model 3, and I had a lot of suspension upgrades from Mountain Pass Performance. And this year, really just wanted to build on those performance upgrades from last year. So it wasn't anything major. Replaced a few more of the factory bushings with sphericals, so a little less deflection, a little better steering response, suspension response. And I also changed the rear rate on the springs. Played around with that a little bit to figure out uh, a little better performance balance for the car. And then along with that, there's also been some software updates to the car now, so I have a little bit better control over the stability control systems. It's making a little bit more power than it was last year, which is basically just a kind of a DLC almost, you know, just download more power to the car, something you can't really do on, uh, on an ICE. But those upgrades combined have really transformed the car from last year to this year. It's just performing way better. It's a lot more neutral. I really am impressed with, with just how well everything from Mountain Pass is working together and then coupled that with the, uh, with the software upgrades and the performance upgrades from Tesla. It's, it's really transformed the car. Tesla's always pretty strong for autocross and speed stop. It just kind of lends itself well to the car. It struggles a little bit more on a road course where top end is so critical and electric uh, vehicles just kind of fall off as they go faster. So there's a lot of big names here. Obviously, going into OUSCI, it's always a little more concentrated than at uh, the individual qualifying events. So we'll see how it goes.